It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the thunder from down under. A man on a quest to make money for beer. Can Al Lou take Hartlepool United all the way to the Champions League final? Let's find out in today's episode of the Youth Edition. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode with Hartley Paul United. We sit in third position, 18 games played midway through November. We've got a tough fixture coming up against Derby County, uh, then a few, you know, not easier fixtures, but uh, lower play sides before we take on Cardiff City. Uh, I believe once we get here in to December, uh, we've got Oxford United and, and Cardiff City. So, uh, you know, a couple of high-ranked teams, a couple of low-ranked teams. Who knows what's going to happen in this episode, but let's jump into it. Right, let's get a player upgrade done for Seamus Gallagher. If you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, let me know in the comments section down below. Thumbs up on the ones you like, and we'll get him upgraded in a future episode. Good luck. First game today's episode, we host Derby County. DuPont's up to a 75, team still growing. And, uh, you know, not quite at 100% fitness, but Derby County in fifth, we want to put our best foot forward. So let's send the first team out here and see if we can get some points at home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the nine fixture here at Victoria Park, hosting Derby County. And uh, Duggan on 12 goals for the season. Colwyn's up to eight. So uh, our scoring performances are starting to increase. Now Mark's been starting to find some goals. Wallace Holmes leads the boys out here again today. Let's look for three points at home. Looks for an opportunity. Blunt was ahead of him. Gets it through now for Colwyn. Lays it off. Mo Winchester has an opening. Mo Winchester. Oh, sidebar. Unlucky. Oh, Holmesy. Just put a big body in, a big hip and shoulder. Probably learned that playing some Australian rules football early on in his career. But uh, we just need to hold on here. Good from Terrence. And Doyle does enough. Derby County, the best defensive team in the league, apparently. So we'll uh, see what we can do about that. Collowit. Lay it off quickly. DuPont looks inside. Here's Duggan. Needs to lay through, has Rakimov. There he is! His first goal of the season. 1 0 Hartlepool United. Found the space, found the finish, and Rakimov is on the board. Well, he's had a quiet season on the goal front, but has still delivered quite a lot. Good work there from Collowit. No, it was Duggan, in fact, with the assist, and a good finish from Racky. The postman puts it in the post box. 1 0. Good from O'Connor. Upper blunt. Colowin. Wants to retreat. Brings it off. Mickey Doyle. He can push inside. Mickey Doyle will play it forward. Here's Mo Winchester. Can't really do anything with it. Plays it back for DuPont. DuPont will look outside. O'Connor. Inside. Here's Papa Blunt. Wheels around. Papa Blunt. Oh, just wide. Um, Derby County cut inside. He's looking for the pass back, but he's gone alone. And then found a man on the inside. 1-1, one, one, no clean sheet today here for Harry Knight. Derby County breakthrough our defence. And just see here, Terry Taylor wasn't sure. He was trying to mark up the pass. Doyle caught behind. You've got to get in front of your man. 1-1. One, one. Oh, it's another corner here. We might try and go a little bit deeper. Terry Taylor. Can't get on the end. Here's Holmes in the box. Wallace trying to direct the traffic. The big unit. The big Australian. He's doing well to toy with his defender. But probably doesn't have the skills to get past him. Still goes Holmes. Needs some help here, boys. Ah. Oh, it's another corner. Rakimov to deliver. Looks for Taylor. And he's got it. Big Terrence makes it 2-1. Cracking delivery from Rakimov. And Terry Taylor will take his first goal of the season. Not often we see our big centre-backs getting involved. Well, that's a good finish from Terrence Taylor. And it is back to 2-1. Good ball from Rakimov. And Terry Taylor split between two. Had enough height and power. 
Gets the finish. 2-1. Good from DuPont. Blunt plays it forward. Dug in. Oh, tried to get the run, but had two on top of him pretty quickly. DuPont tries to get a challenge in. Can't take the ball. Blunt will pick this one off. Go, Papa Blunt. Drive it forward, son. Still goes Papa Blunt. He'll look for a deep cross here. Looks for the reach of Rakimov. They keep his shadow biscuit and put it out for another corner. Oh, what a block from Wallace Holmes. Just stuck a foot out, and there we go, half time. 2 1 to Hartlepool. O'Connor. DuPont. Colowin. Duggan. Back off for Colowin. Looks forward, Mo Winchester. Lays it through, Terry Taylor, looking for a brace, Terry Taylor! Oh, oh, oh he's streamed forward, and gets involved, he's got a brace. Two on the day for Terence Taylor, the big Englishman. Oh, Holmes, he loves it. He's an aggressive centre-back. Both of our centre-backs are very aggressive, they like to make pushes forward, but this run from Terry Taylor is absolutely majestic. And it's a class finish, top bins as well. Gets in, lad. 3-1 Hartlepool. There's a bit of fight in this team now. And there's Terry Taylor. Well, he's got a brace. He may as well try and push forward here. No, unselfishly. Lays it off for Colowin. Brings it through for DuPont. And, oh, he's pushed it wide. Yes, Holmes. Beautiful read. Here's Colowin. Lays it off. Papa Blunt now. Driving his way forward. He'll deliver this one deep for Rakimov. No. Yes, Holmesy. Winchester laid it off. Mickey Doyle around the outside. Come back through the middle. Finds Colowin. Lays it off. Has dug it. Oh, that's a finish. Oh, that's a finish. 4-1. Dug it. 13 goals for the season. That is a brilliant finish. Just laced it. It kind of gives him a pack on the back. Thanks for coming. Quick fire play. Hartley pull up and about. Colowin laid it off and one touch finish from Owen Duggan. Oh, that's wonderful. Just about broke his ankle in the process. 4 1 Hartley pull. Oh, Terry Taylor lost it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Maybe he's a striker. I don't know. 4 2. Darby County get a second. He just lost it in his own feet. And uh, this causes a couple of issues every now and then, but you can't fault the hardness of the man. He got in there and then it just couldn't release it. 4-2. All right, changes being made. Duggan giving a rest here. Kone checks in. We've got to see something out of Kone before this transfer window. Bailey in for Winchester and Dubai in for Doyle. Dubay picks it off. Bailey plays it forward. Here's Colowin. And lay it out. Blunt can lay it through. Bailey drives his way forward. Luke Bailey gets in, lad. He's come back from injury like a house on fire. That's his second goal of the season. Two and two, I think. And it's 5-2 Hartley Pool. Well, the attack is firing. And if we want to charge up the table, we've got to be winning games. To win games, you need to score goals. And if you can come in off the bench like this and have an impact, well, brilliant. Liam Bailey does it again. 5-2 Hartlepool. Oh, Terry! I mean, he's got two goals today, but he's probably cost us two as well. Hmm, just needs a little bit more composure. Just needs a little bit more solidarity. solidarity should I say, on the ball. Got stuck between two, did get a bit of a tackle in. Holmes probably could have done more there as well. 5-3, well, the fans being treated to some goals, that's for sure. Good from Taylor that time. Dubay, Bailey, Colowin, there's Kone. He's onside, oh no, he's taking a heavy touch, it doesn't matter. Oh, Kone finds a finish. His fifth goal of the season. And it's 6-3 Hartlepool. In the death, some good counter-attack football. That's where Kone sort of can explode. He's got a little bit of extra pace than what Duggan has. 
and that holds him in good stead late in the game so there's no really secondary striker knocking on the door other than maybe moving Colwyn into that kind of role but for now he's the number two and he's found a goal off the bench 6-3 And there's the whistle. We'll take the three points at home. Well, a fairly dominant display, not defensively, but definitely on attack. 14 shots to six. Uh, only one save made by us. Their goalkeeper didn't make a save. So uh, that's an interesting one. Maybe they didn't have a goalkeeper in net. Who knows? The, the team structures of, of the game after five seasons are a little bit askewed. But we'll take it. We need all the points we can get here at the moment. Right, second game of today's episode, Hartlepool hosting Huddersfield at Victoria Park. I'm going to send the first team out again, Huddersfield in uh, 10th or 11th, but um, we're not at full fitness. I don't think that'll matter. They've got five at the back, and I don't think the reserves will break that down. So let's get into this one. Let's try and clutch three points at home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another game at home. And looking for another three points. We we'll probably need to tighten up a little bit more defensively, but, you know, if we can snap in six, we'll bloody take it. Oh, almost got... Ruined. Colwyn brings it inside. Mo Winchester leveled. Oh, man, injured. Ref, you've got to pay something, mate. Oh, Connor got turned. Nine makes a good save. Rack him off. Oh, what delivery out the back door for Doyle. And he's got space to run, but does he have the pace? Still goes Mickey Doyle. He needs to look inside. He chips it up to the back for Duggan. Oh, it might have been offside. If not, it's a very good save. Oh, Terry Taylor. Oh, Holmes. <laughs> no remorse, no regret. He just went in hard. Mo Winchester struggling. DuPont to Blunt to O'Connor. Back down the line. Papa Blunt pushes his way forward. Drops it in for Colwyn. Oh, he's missed. Oh, Winchester hasn't run off his injury, so uh, Bailey will check in here. 35 minutes gone. Oh, Terry Taylor read it, but then gave it away. Oh, and Huddersfield have missed. But from Holmes. Colin should win this one. He does find Bailey. And there is the halftime whistle. It's been a tense, tense encounter. And it's nil-nil. Oh, good from Papa Blunt. Got in and made the tackle. But he's going to get cut down here. O'Connor finds Colin. Shoots from range. Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant from Colin. Breaks the deadlock with an absolute thundercut from downtown. Nine goals for the season for Jan Collowin. That is breathtaking. O'Connor Collowin lines himself up and says, this is my spot. Just send it home. Just send it home. Get in. What a finish. 1-0. Oh, you're joking! <laughs> Fuck! 1-1. One, one. Not enough commitment there from our defence. Knight came off his line and got completely done as well. Doyle just backed off. Holmes watched it. And Knight, just stay on your line, mate. If you're not going to commit to a punch, he's caught well behind. What are you doing, son? 1-1. One, one. Uh, Huddersfield have gone up a level. Hartlepool needs to rise to the occasion. Upper blunt. Get running, son. Pump forward. Keep on running. There's no one ahead of you. Papa blunt on a magnificent charge, but he's very much low on gas. He'll come back here. He'll look inside. He finds Colwyn. Colwyn shoots. That one gets blocked. Rack him off. Lays it off. Mickey Doyle delivers it in. Can't get to Colwyn. Duggan can. Colwyn can't. Oh. oh, they've got through here. It's on side. What a save. Tell you what, this one's got some spice to it. Oh, Connor, you've given it up. Get in there, Holmes. Yes, lad. DuPont lays it off. Bailey to Colwyn. Needs Rakimov on the outside. Keep running, Racky. Where the fuck is that? That's not to Rakimov, you bell end. Last two changes, Wang and Dubai. Wang, mate, if you can get us a win here, you might hold your spot in the squad. Rakimov, quick touch on Bailey. 
Lays it on, Colowin out wide, here's Rakimov, looking for delivery, brings it over the back, Bailey, oh, it's taking a touch, Duggan, let's go! 2-1 Hartlepool! Duggan there, swooping in like a seagull on a hot chip. 14 for the season for him. We get the lead back here against Huddersfield. The changes came, but it's the old firm, Rakimov, Bailey. And there is Owen Duggan just to tap it in. 2-1, Hartlepool. Well, Holmes got turned, Wang's there. Oh, he's done well. Here's Dubai. French legs can push forward. And it's a big run here from Ruben. Needs to look inside. Maybe he'll keep going. Ruben Dubai. Plays a back off for Wang. Trying to bring it inside. That was a poor pass. You need to push back now, Wang. Put on the after jets. Drives his way forward. Delivers it in deep for Duggan. Oh, crossbar. Oh, Wang. Get it in there, lad. Dupont. Oh, it's taking another touch. Oh. Missed the corner. Rakimov lifts it up and high. Terry Taylor tried to get in on that one. There's an injury on the field. Duggan overruns it. He is tiring. We need some fresh legs around here. Wang in pursuit. Oh, Wang got a touch. It was inconsequential. Four minutes of injury time. Here comes Wang again. I'm pushing. They're pushing. We need numbers back. Holmes got the touch. Here's the shot. It's put wide. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. Three points. That was a tricky one. Oh, they had the possession and the passing game. Jesus. Uh, four saves from Knight keeps us in the game. We get the win 2 1 at home. Right, Mo Winchester has a bruised elbow. Five days. Whew, that was lucky. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got another game at home, but uh, we've got Cardiff City in just a few days' time, so I am going to send the reserves out here. Uh, another chance for them to try and shine. It is December. That transfer window was approaching, and uh, some of these players aren't cutting their mustard. Wang, Mannion, uh, Bridgman are probably the big three that I'm looking at here. Gallagher is probably still a t bit too young. And Kone, I mean, serviceable as a backup at the moment. Uh, what's he got? Five goals. Probably need a little bit more output from him, especially in this reserves team. But, uh, you know, we're building something and it's still going to take time. Let's see what we can do here against Oxford United. They sit in 22nd position. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another home fixture. Hartlepool on the charge, picking up the wins and uh, hopefully charging up the table. Let's see what we can do here against 22nd place, Oxford United. Gallagher, has it off for Bailey. Kone, lovely touch. Here is Seamus Gallagher, finish up. Yes, lad, it's his debut goal. Seamus Gallagher, get in, lad. Well, a bit more output like that and could see himself, you know, solidify himself here in this twos at least. I uh, can't see him dislodging Colowin from that cam roll, but, you know, another Northern Irishman. Lovely flick on from Kone. And a really good finish from Gallagher. And that makes it 1-0 Hartlepool. Good from Dubai. Mannion. Bailey. Gallagher. Redded one out wide. Wang's got some speed here. We'll bring it inside. Looks for Kone. Oh, good save. Oh, good from Marsh. Kansler. It's it forward here for Gallagher. Oh, that's a ball. Kone. Oh, good save. It might go in. Oh, unlucky. He's looking threatening. Oh, come on. That's two really shit goals that Takata's conceded this season. Bridgman completely out of place. Takata, that should have been covered, man. That really should have been covered. He was set, and it just... No, nah, that's poor. 1-1. One, one. Good from Marsh. Nestler picked off. Oxford with their tails up now. Ruben Dubay caught behind. It's quick fire passing. Dubay, Marsh, 
Dubai. Oh no, not Bridgman. He's done okay there. Finds Mannion. That's poor. Fucking poor. Is it match fitness? Is it sharpness that's causing issues here? Oh, Takata! Really? I had high hopes for this goalkeeper, but that's two shithouseries. That's 2 1 Oxford United. What are you doing here, Takata? Nah, you've got to be doing better, mate. That is poor goalkeeping, in my opinion. Very poor. 2 1. Oh, Bridgman's just fallen over like an absolute butt nugget. Wang. Bailey. Absorb the pressure, boys. Go, Wang. You're fucking 80 overall. You should be able to destroy this team by yourself. Pushes his way forward. Lays it back. Gallagher for his second. Oh, back in the game. 2 2. Gallagher with a brace. He's burst onto the scene here against Oxford United. Oh, if it wasn't for our defence, we'd be smashing this league. But everything seems to fall apart. On that back four. Good from Wang. Solid run. Vision. And a good finish from Gallagher. Kone is the decoy. 2-2. Two, two. Takes his man on. Keeps going Kessler. Oh, where's the delivery? Oh, he's going to look for Gallagher. It's a hat trick for Gallagher. Oh, oh, oh. What a legendary effort for the youngster. A first half hat trick for Seamus Gallagher. That is brilliant. Hasn't played many games. But he's having an impact here. Good delivery from Kessler. Cracking finish from Gallagher. And it's three. He's got a hat trick. Marsh got a touch. Come on, Bridgman. Beerman does get a touch. Wang doesn't get a touch. Oh, the seas have opened up again. Takata gets a finger on it. Not sure what our defense is doing today. It's just a little bit sloppy. Bridgman. Fucking Bridgman, you're gone. That's it. That's, I've had enough of him. I've fucking had enough of him. Useless. Everything he does. Anytime he's on the pitch, we just look shit. He had the prime position there. Oh, got caught behind in the end. Mannion got in the way. Oh my days. Did that come off Mannion's head? And off Beerman? Oh, who knows what the fuck just happened then? That's come off all of our players, I think. Half time, 3 3. It's a shootout. Kessler. Bailey. Gallagher. Kessler. Drives it forward. Gallagher again. Oh, he's trying to get into everything now, but it probably needs to settle down. You've got your hat trick, mate. Beerman pushes back. There's Marsh. Lay it off. That's picked off by French. Can't get the tackle in either. The pressure from Oxford. They're playing like a team possessed. Bridgman. Kessler. Mannion. Kone. Gallagher. Laid it off for Wang. And he's got through. No, offside. Oxford United with a corner. Need help. Oh, my days. Bridgman. Fucking hell, Bridgman! <laughs> he's just turned into a liability. Ball awareness is like he's got no balls himself. Fuck me. What are you doing? Bridgman. Bridgman. That is fucking shithouse. Fucking shithouse. Get him out of here. 4 3. Oxford United. And Takata's hands have gone through Beerman. Oh, fuck off, man! This team's in 22nd position! They're not pulling this fucking.
fucking shit out of their ass. 5 3 Oxford United. Our defence has gone to sleep. We can't get a touch of the fucking ball. Fuck off, man. Unbelievable scenes here. Absolutely unfucking believable scenes. And look who the fucking defender is on him as well. It's fucking Bridgman. I don't have a defender on the bench. I can't replace the wanker. But I can tell you what, he's never playing for Hartlepool again. To Carter, that is shit too, mate. Fuck me. Gallagher. That's to Wang. Wang has oh. to finish this one. No, of course not. Of course fucking not. You're gone too, son. Fucking done. That's bread and butter. Five minutes ago, fuck it. Drangovic and Lee check in. I'm bringing in Manila. He's like five foot six. He's coming in at centre back for Bridgman. Whatever. Get in, Manila. Oh, referee. This cunt is on the juice. Gallagher. I'm done. I'm fucking done with this one. This has been fucking bullshit. Bailey gets it forward. Seamus Gallagher has been the shining light here today. He can drive his way forward. Oh, he's got a four. He's fucking trying to run the game himself. Four goals for Seamus Gallagher and we go down 5-4 to fucking Oxford United. Where's the rest of the team? How about you show up like this young kid has? Fucking brilliant. Four goals in a game for someone that's barely getting any minutes. Brilliant from Seamus Gallagher. 5-4. And there's the whistle. Defeat at home to Oxford United. It's absolutely abysmal. Gallagher, that is a way to make your name for yourself, son. Four in a game. We just got out-competed. And defensively, we are fucking shit. Right, final game today's episode. Eighth place, Cardiff City hosting Hartlepool. Uh, first team fresh, ready to go. We want a better display than the last bloody game. They've got five at the back, so uh, it might be tough. Let's see what we can do here on the road. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need to bounce back. We're on the road today in Wales at Cardiff City. And, uh, well, it's time. It's time to shine a blip on the map against Oxford United, which shouldn't have happened. Uh, let's get back to winning ways. DuPont. Once again, the stadium giving me an interesting camera angle. DuPont can play it inside. Has Colwyn. And that is a finish. That's how you start a game, boys. Colwyn on the board. I think that's 10 for the season. Oh, he's got the Thorgunison celebration today. Starts on our issue. It's uh, defending and holding the leads. That seems to be a problem, but... Good ball inside. Good finish from Colowin. It's 1-0 Hartlepool. Good from DuPont. That's what we want to see. Our midfielders helping us out defensively. Winchester lays it off. Colowin just needs to lay it through. Here comes Papa Blunt. Drives his way inside. Papa Blunt, yes. 2-0 Hartlepool. Papa Blunt on the board. With his eighth, ninth, ninth goal of the season for Papa Blunt. He's a quiet achiever. Well, lovely touch from Colowin. That's what we need. Run the midfield. 2 new Hartlepool. Good from Winchester. Rakimov. Finds Colowin. He'll lay it off. Here's Mo Winchester. Oh, good save from Phillips again. Oh, we're getting opportunities. And now we have a corner. Rakimov lifts one up. Looks for Terry Taylor. Can't quite get in there. Phillips has it covered. Well, there's the halftime whistle. 2-0 to Hartlepool. Kind of got back in in the second, uh, the, you know, second half of that first half. But uh, we'll need a big performance in the second half from Hartlepool. Good from Winchester. Duggan. Plays one over the top. Asked a lot here of Colowin. McGuinness got in. There's five at the back again. So always tough to break through. We've got a two-goal buffer. Oh, good from DuPont. That's how you ride a tackle. The Belgian whips his way forward. He might get cut off at the pass here. Lays it inside. Has Papa Blunt. Oh, it's a good finish. Big Papa Pup. Get in, lad. Ten for the season for Papa Blunt. He's hit double figures. 3-0 Hartlepool. 
That is a class finish from Papa Blood. And another really good run here from DuPont. Good vision. One touch, bang. Laced. Let's go. Oh, that's a ball. And that's a finish. Oh, that is football. Beautiful from Hartlepool. Winchester with a magnificent ball through to Owen Duggan. Uh, 15, I think, for the season. Look at this ball from Winchester. Bang. Well weighted. Cracking finish. And Hartlepool in full control now. 4 0. Alright, 4 0 up. Let's make some changes here. I'll make the one change. Gallagher getting a run here for Colowan. Give him a rest. Kone comes in for Duggan. We just want to keep the, the strike force fresh. And uh, Bailey in for Winchester. Oh, no. <laughs> just can't keep a clean sheet. 4 1. Cardiff City breakthrough. We had a game in full control and we just switch off. <sighs> just two defenders. One needed to go with the number nine. 4 1. Oh, Holmes is being turned. It's 4 2. That's the, the 80th minute warning. As Cardiff City comes alive, and they might have just made a game of this. 4-2. Oh, we cannot be switching off like this, boys. O'Connor beaten. Holmes turned. And a simple finish in the end past nine. 4-2. Cardiff have come alive here in the final 10 minutes, and uh, they're really making a game of it. Holmes tries to clear. He's going to come in again. Gallagher... Got a touch on it. Just needs to defend. There we go. And there's the whistle. Well, an interesting final 10 minutes, but it's three points on the road for Hartlepool. 4-2. 12 shots to five. We did all the damage nice and early. <sighs> We're conceding too many goals. Right, and that's where we bring today's episode to a close. We sit in third position, 45 points. We are in striking distance, but we can't be dropping games to teams low on the table. We do get redemption in the next episode, hopefully. I think we have Oxford United again uh, coming up. So uh, we've got Reading in 13th. Uh, we then have a game against Luton Town in 18th. Then we have Blackburn. Where are they sitting? Are they up and about, are they? Yep, in 7th. And I think we finish off December with the game against Oxford United away. So, uh, yeah. Then we hit that transfer window and anything could happen. What well, we'll see in the next episode. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon. And if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself. And uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here. And if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the video...